Start with just a, a, a look back at the, the weekend. As a group, do you feel that you deserved, could have got a, a point against Chelsea? Um, yeah, definitely. We um, I think we give them a good game. Um, we obviously know the the squad they have, the the great team they are. Um, but I think from minute one we kind of let them know that they're in for a game. Um, and obviously, unfortunate with the penalty coming from my mistake. But it's part of part of the game. Mistakes happen. It's just how you come back from that. Does that just show the highs and lows of football? Obviously, with your moment at, at Old Trafford to that, and just the. Uh, what the game is all about, really? Yeah, definitely. That's football. Um, things can change in in a very quick moment. So that's what happened on on Sunday um, evening. Um, obviously, it was just very unfortunate. Um, but I'll come back from it. Um, like you said, I've gone from scoring at Old Trafford to kind of making the mistake on the weekend. But that's football, as I said. Um, I'll come back from it. What have you said afterwards? What have the other players said to you? Has anybody needed to say anything? No, um, I'm fine. It's football, as I just said. Um, you got to be a big man in this game. Um, these things happen. It's just how you react to them. Is that why mental, sort of your own mental health and the way you deal with things is so important in football? Because it, it is relentless. You know, it, it is a game. It is live. You know, anything can possibly happen, and you, you sort of have to have that sort of mental ability to know that things like that can happen and then deal with it yeah definitely I've been in football since the age of eight so you grow up kind of learning the pressures of the game um, and things like that and obviously when things like that happen you just kind of need to get back to the drawing boards do the basics well um, and obviously you just can't wait to get back out there and we've got a game tomorrow and hopefully if a player can put things right now 13 games this season in the Premier League that the, the team's lost by just the odd goal. I mean, how how frustrating th does that make it to know that as a team you've been in, in so many games but, but just not managed to get over the line? It's very frustrating, yeah, but that's just football. Um, you need to score goals, you need to stop goals going in and that's just part of the game. We've not stopped enough goals going in the back of our net and we've not scored enough goals. That's the, the truth of this season. Um, Hopefully things can change soon, um, but yeah, as I said, that's that is the main aim of the game. You have to score goals. You have to stop stop goals going in, and this season's not been good enough. Does that show though that, that Sheffield United throughout this season have been able to compete? You know, a lot of people have seen the blades at the bottom of the league with not many points, but that, that doesn't really tell the story of the season, does it? No, I don't think so. Um, it's a it's a it's a fine margin in football sometimes. Um, especially with VAR and things like that, what's going around, you kind of, everything has to be on your side on the day of the game. Um, but um, fortunately over the last couple of weeks, we've kind of got our, our kind of rhythm back, we're, um, we're playing well and hopefully we can just take that into the games coming up. Yeah, do you feel that the, the results over the last few weeks in the league and the cup have sort of helped to restore a bit of pride, a bit of belief in the group maybe? Yeah, definitely. When you win a game of football, um, there's a kind of different vibe around the change room, vibe around the training ground. Um, but I think all season, the, we've kind of believed, we've know that we're playing well. Um, obviously, there's been one or two games where we didn't play too well, but it's a Premier League, and if you don't turn up on the day, um, teams are going to hurt you. Um, the best players in the world play in the league. Um, but yeah, I think so. I think we just kind of have to keep our heads up um, and just look forward. That's all we can do. But very much in terms of the performances against Chelsea and Man United and, and Man City, I, yeah. surely they've demonstrated to, to everybody in the league that, that Sheffield United are, are very much in it and very much worth the place in the top flight. Yeah, definitely. And I think everyone can see how crazy the Premier League is this year. Um, one week someone's winning a league, one week someone's getting relegated, definitely. And that's just it's just been a crazy season. Um, no one knows what's going to happen. And... Obviously, we just have to kind of look forward to the next game. That's all we can do, and hopefully, we can perform and get the three points, which is most important. Uh, in terms of your situation, am I right in thinking your contract's up in the summer? Yeah, that's correct. Uh, have there been any discussions as yet with the club about about what you're going to do after the summer? Um, no, I'm just enjoying my football at the moment and concentrating on trying to give my best to the team. Would Would you like to stay at the club if that's something that can be done? Of course. And. Do you now feel that with the performances and the action that you've had, that that finally after, I remember speaking to you a few weeks ago after you know a difficult start to your career with Sheffield United, that, that things have started moving, that you have started making progress here? 
Um, yeah, definitely it's taken longer than I would have liked, but um, I've said on previous interviews that I was behind Jack O'Connell and for me, he, he was someone I kind of looked up to when I first came into the club. I knew how much of um, a big character he was, a big character on the pitch, um, a fantastic player and for me, I understand football, I understand that the, the rhythm that the back line was playing in during the promotion season, it was going to be hard for me to break into that team and obviously that happened and then the next season I kind of needed to go out on loan and get some game time and just get the happiness of football back and um, I did that, I come back pre-season raring to go and um, fortunately the season I've been given my, my opportunity, it's just up to me to take it. Have you got your uh, you found your happiness in football as, as you just described it, is that how you, you, you feel about the last few months? Um, yeah I would say so, um, every player will tell you the same thing, if you're not playing you're not happy, if you're playing you're happy. Um, it's as simple as that. That's what we we want to do every week. That's why we come to training every day to get that match day feeling. And um, obviously, over the last couple of years, that's not been there. And recently, I've, um, it, it's been there. So I have to say, I'm enjoying my football. Yeah. There's a heck of a lot to play for still this season, isn't there? Of course, there's the survival bid and everything that comes with that. But with the FA Cup one step away from the the quarterfinals, d does it feel like that? That there's a lot still on the line. Yeah, definitely. There's a lot of football still to be played. Um, obviously, we under we understand the kind of tasks we have ahead of us trying to stay in the division. But what's to say we can't do it? Um, we have to go out there every Saturday or Tuesday, whatever it may be, and believe that we can we can pick three points up. And I think as long as we have that mentality of we when we go on that pitch, we fight for everything. We give everything for the manager. We give everything for the club. Um, we have a good chance. When you look at the Plymouth and the, the Bristol Rovers games and sort of analyse how um, positive they've been for, for the league form, have, have they been key? Everybody looked at them and thought, yeah, win them, they, they may well have a bounce on, on the league. That, that seems like how it's played out. Yeah, definitely I would say. So um, when you get that win under your belt, it kind of brings that momentum and brings it into training. Um, everything, just the vibe around the place is obviously a little bit different than when you when you lose a game of football so um and obviously we've done that far too much this season um so getting the win against Bristol was very important um to us as a squad um just to kind of get that winning feeling back and then obviously going into other games recently where we picked up points i think that's been the kind of the the, the start from Bristol from Bristol Rovers getting that win you'll go into this one again for the third round in a row as favourites that that can be a dangerous tag I, I know you were there on that day against Barnet when, when I was there as well do experiences like that just give you that little reminder of taking every game absolutely you know as seriously as the next yeah and we know that Bristol Bristol City are, are, are a good team in the championship and we know it's going to be a tough game um, as was Bristol Rovers, as was Plymouth, but um, we go into it with the belief that we can get through to the next round and positive thoughts that we can go out on the pitch and perform. Was that Barnet game one that sort of uh, lives in the memory as a we, we can't do this again kind of moment? Um, yeah, I would say so. It was obviously a disastrous of a day for us. Um, wasn't good enough from, from every single player that was involved that day, including me, um, but things have kind of moved forward now we look forward to the next game which is tomorrow and hopefully we can get through to the next round What have you made of, of, of Bristol City I imagine you won't have exactly seen too much of them but they're a team that's been around the, the sort of top six in, in the championship for a good number of years now Yeah I've seen them um, over the last couple of years that they've been kind of in and around the playoffs so it just shows what um, what a good team they are and um, obviously they have some, some good individuals um, but we go into the game thinking of us and what we can do to affect the game and hopefully we come with a game plan that can get us through to the next round. What would the quarterfinals of the FA Cup sort of mean to you and, and the club and, and everyone given how this, this past year and this season has been? Yeah, it would be unbelievable, yeah. Obviously, like I said, we've kind of had to concentrate on the game um, tomorrow and not look too far ahead. Um, we don't want to do that, but we go into the game tomorrow believing that if we win, we can kind of obviously get our foot in turn. Um, a, a good situation, which would be the, the the what what round would that be? Sorry, it's the quarterfinals. The, the, it would be the quarterfinals, yes. Yeah. So obviously, it would be a great a great moment for everyone um, to play in the quarterfinal. The FA Cup is something that not many people can say they've done. So it would be great. It would be a great feeling, yeah. And have you all been practicing penalties just in case? Um, I'm sure the gaffer will have us have, have us thinking about penalties. <laughs>